Hey everybody, I'm Kale Hunter from Arm for Apocalypse. I'm going to show you my rig. Um, all starts for me with the guitar. You got to love your guitar that you're playing. It's got to inspire you to play great things. Um, ESP has always made the most sense for me, um, for our sound and, and, and what we like to do. We tune really low. We tune to drop G and we only use six string guitars, so it's got to be able to handle the low tuning, uh, but it's still got to sound uh, really sharp and really clean. So it starts with the guitar. Um, the H1001, uh, which I've played for a few years in a row now, and it's uh, it's a rock solid. It's super reliable, and uh, all, stays in tune all kinds of weather. Um, it's been great for me. And then uh, EMG8185, the the perfect metal pickup for me. Um, is as long as I can remember growing up, learning how to play guitar, I would see the little black box and be like, man, I, I want to get one of those. And um, Sure enough, when I tried them out, it was the exact sound that I like. So I'm uh, very loyal to those pickups. Um, then I played this one for a long time, too. This was uh, like a, a V401 that I got from ESP a long time ago, and I played it for so long, and I just wanted to do something different, so I just slapped some silver duct tape on there. Um, and I haven't even debuted it live yet, but uh, it was just kind of a fun project I did. And uh, I don't know, I had never seen it before, so I said, why not? But this guitar, again, I've played it over and over again with the 81 and 85, probably hundreds of shows with it, and it's, uh, it's been a rock for me. So from there, I like to, always like to keep my signal chain super simple. I don't like a, a ton of effects live, ton of pedals, tons of connections. There's just too many things that can go wrong. So live, all I use is my tuner and my noise gate, and that's it. Um, I had a delay pedal for a while that I was using, but I learned pretty quickly that I could live without it. It's on the record, but I don't, I don't even use it live. Um, and then I don't use any uh, stop boxes for distortion. I just seek out the amp that I like, where I like the, the distortion that's coming from the head, so I don't need to rely on anything else. Like if, if this is good and your guitar is good, uh, then you're fine. And uh, we use the, both of us, me and Kirk, use this 5153s, and they're just the they're the best amp for what we do right now. They're just, uh, they're dirty, they're heavy. They, uh, the natural distortion that comes out of them, the gain is, is exactly what we're looking for. And um, we don't have to do a lot of it. I mean, uh, it started out, we saw a, a couple good bands play them that had good players, and then a couple of just terrible bands play in this amp, and they were all able to get like some sort of tone that would grab me every time. So I was like, that's the one I gotta get. And as soon as I got it, I plugged it in, and I haven't even really thought about getting a new amp since. Yeah, it's treated me great. It's been a beast. And then um, just the 5153 cabinets, which when I got them, I didn't know if I would like them, but they've been amazing for us. Just huge on the low end, huge crunches, uh, which we do a lot of. So um, it's like an amp that was built for exactly what we do. Um, and that's it. That's my entire rig, literally, uh, start to finish. So thanks a lot for checking it out. How's it going? I'm Corey Vaspera. I play bass in Arm for Apocalypse and I'm here to tell you a little bit about what I use. Uh, I'm using right now LTD surveyors. As you can see, I got a couple of them. Um, they're pretty sweet basses. I just like the way they sound. I like the way they feel. Um, I've had this one a while. And uh, see, I use um, Ernie Ball regular slinkies. Uh, I got it tuned. Well, the gauges, as you can see, are huge because we tuned down to like G, D, G, C. So this big fat one would be a 130. Uh, this is a 100. That's an 85 and that's a 65. And I got uh, EMGs in here. I got my 35P, excuse me. And I got my MMTW down here. And this bass is just badass. Uh, what else I got? I got my Ampeg SVT4 Pro. I've been rocking this since day one, uh, in this band at least. And I love this thing. I will never live without one. I like other models too. Uh, I've tried the Classic. I've tried an SVT2. Uh, SVT2 is badass. Classic is badass. But there's just something really versatile about this one. Um, I'm rocking the fridges, 810s, one on each side of the drums and it's loud as hell <laughs> what else can you say uh and then my my rig is pretty simple i use this i've you know i took this thing out of the box 
and I definitely could sit down and adjust everything and get it all, you know, exactly how I want it, but I pretty much have it figured out up here, and this thing, I just plug straight into it, and uh, I'm telling you, it, it like, you know, even all the way through just made it sound ten times better, so I just didn't touch it. Uh, eventually, I will. <laughs> and then uh, I'm rocking that and my uh, core pedal tuner, and... Uh, that's about it as far as my gear goes. Simple rigs, rock and roll. I'm Kirk from Arm for Apocalypse. I'm going to show you my gear. This is an LTD PD-1. Uh, they don't make it anymore. It's a cool guitar. It's got a dark sound, kind of got some weight to it. EMG 81 in the bridge, 60 in the neck. Um, we tuned a drop G, so I use heavy strings. This is a 14, uh, 18, 26. 44, 56, and a 70. Um, and it works pretty good on this guitar. That tuning can be a little dicey sometimes, but we'll make it work. Here we go into Electro Harmonic Signal Pad. It's a passive attenuator, so it's kind of like turning down my volume knob on my guitar. Um, I do that instead of using a clean channel. And then I go into a Korg Pitch Black tuner. Carbon copy delay. It's got a nice gnarly dark analog delay sound and you can make some weird cool noises with it smart gate for when I don't want feedback which isn't very often then this thing is totally rad EVH 5153 it's got three channels I only use this one because it has the most distortion and their cabs which have Celestian greenbacks um, 25 watt speakers, which normally I would go for a higher wattage speaker, but these just sound really good. And uh, especially when you use that many of them. That's it. That's how I get that tone.